We're here today to announce criminal charges against two Ukrainians for their role in an international computer hacking and securities fraud scheme. The defendants breached the computer systems of the Securities and Exchange Commission and stole thousands of confidential documents. The defendants targeted the SEC's Electronic Data Gathering Analysis and Retrieval System, also known as the EDGAR system. Public companies, as you know, are required to make certain disclosures to their investors, including certain material disclosures such as earnings announcements, M&A announcements, um, even announcements concerning adverse events affecting the company. And the SEC's EDGAR system ensures that the public has access to this information. After hacking into the EGGER system, the defendants stole drafts of these reports for publicly traded companies before the reports were disseminated to the investing public. These draft reports contain valuable information about the company's financial performance, quarterly earnings, year-end earnings, and potential mergers and acquisitions, amongst other material events. Maintaining the confidentiality of this information prior to its public release is a critical part of our security system, and it's critical to the companies and the SEC and their capability to regulate the markets. There was trading that resulted from the intrusions into the SEC's Edgar system. The defendants took advantage of the early access they were able to obtain through their hacking by accessing confidential and non-public non news and trading ahead of an these announcements and the public disclosure of these reports. In one example set forth in the indictment, one of the co-conspirators of the defendants made more than $270,000 in a single day based upon trading in, in non-public information contained in these reports that were stolen from the Edgar system. They employed attacks to gain access to restricted areas of the SEC systems and sent malicious emails to SEC employees that infected their computers by sending malware through, through emails that made it falsely appear as though it was coming from safe email addresses eternally within the SEC.